The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside Carson Newman women's golf coach Suzanne Strudwick, I'm Danielle Whaley, and this is the Eagles Sports Network. Carson Newman is gearing up for the Bobby Nichols Intercollegiate this week, and coach, this is the midweek or the midway point of the season thus far. With everything that you've seen from the two tournaments that the team has played in and in practice, how has the team grown uh, through this very different year? Yeah, it's absolutely. I think number one, we came out of the gates, you know, flying. You know, won our first event. Um, which was fantastic. I think we'd finished third, second, and now first in that one. So, uh, and it was very difficult weather conditions there. Extre you know, gusty winds, 30 to 35 miles an hour. So extremely difficult con playing conditions. Um, the, the following week, you know, was, was a tough, again, a brand new event, brand new course. So we didn't have any experience playing it, but then nobody did apart from um, limestone. But um, I felt the team were okay, but they were a little flat, I have to be honest. Um, they, they took some of the issues from the first week. Even though we won, we still ha saw some areas where we can improve. And I didn't see that improvement the following week. In fact, it was compounded. You know, we needed to finish in the top three. Uh, we finished fifth. We did separate ourselves. The top five teams separated from the rest of the field. Um, but it was disappointing to finish fifth. Um, so I'm hoping that with a week off, um, a little bit more um, clarity in what I'm expecting out of the team. Um, I had to kind of um, just really... I've I had to speak to my team in a way that I haven't spoken to them in over a year and, you know, just lay out some expectation levels um, that, yes, they can feel relaxed and enjoy themselves, but, hey, we're here for a purpose. Your practice, qualifying rounds have to have a purpose. We have to be a little bit more intense. There has to be some um, clear motivation to want to do better than that fifth place. Um, I believe I'm seeing that. I've mixed up some uh, the way we qualify, um, and we're playing a brand new course today, this afternoon, um, to help prepare them in their course management skills. And that was some area that I thought was lacking at that new course that they, um, they, they kind of didn't really think too much. They just went ahead and hit shots that they did not need to hit. So we'll see. Whenever you look at the season as a whole, for most normal seasons, the team typically takes on 36 whole events. Right. At the Bobby Nichols Intercollegiate, it's a 54 whole event, but yeah. you just got a little bit of that at the low tide. How did that performance, while it was flat, like you said, how did yeah. that kind of help with preparation for this event where it's going to be three days oh, of yeah, just action-packed days? Yeah, it's going to be a long week because we'll have two practice rounds plus the, the three days, so 54 holes. I think it prepares us well because our last event, regular season event, is 36-18 again. Having the low tide at 36, that was the first time some of them had ever played 36 in one day, um, or at least over a year had played 36 in one day. We had some foot issues, blisters, you know, some things that just, you know, can interfere um, a little bit. Y you learn from that, change of socks, change of shoes, those sort of things. So definitely for our last event, which will be 36, um, you know, hopefully will be better. Um, I think maturity, um, I think is, is a big key. Um, I think just play, get back into playing. And you, I know you've heard that a lot from the other coaches, but just competing again is, is huge. And so I, I, I'm really hoping that our last two events, we can really get to that competitive fighting spirit. And I didn't see that apart from two players that I saw that. And I want to see that in our qualifying, and I definitely want to see it this weekend, that they are fighting for every single shot. Um, and, and that's 
probably what I was most disappointed about during that last event. That, that I only saw that out of a couple of players and not the rest of them. And the Bobby Nichols Intercollegiate, it's always a welcomed tournament for the team because yeah. you are going to be close to home yeah. playing a very tough field division yeah. one teams for the most part but you are playing on the home course how welcoming is that at this point especially at the midway point yeah. of the season that you're kind of getting back to your roots in some ways yeah exactly and I'm staying in their own beds um, you know it's an easy travel they know know you know they know it very well what's so different and we kind of prepared for that on uh, on Sunday when we played a qualifier is that the team is going to be playing all together. That's how D1 are doing it. So all five players are playing on your team together. So it, that's the format is totally different. And you've got different personalities. Some are very get into their own little game, want to be off on their own. And they can do that under normal circumstances. Some players need to talk, you know, need to relax a little bit when they're playing. So you've got this different dynamics of how players like to play. And talking to some D1 coaches, they said that's been the, the biggest struggle, is those different dynamics on how those players like to play in this format. So we're trying to prepare for it um, as best we can. Um, you know, they won't, they would have had some some practice rounds in that format so that's all you can do in this event it has been one that the team has had two fourth place finishes out the last one being in 2019 what does yeah. it take to have that success once again keeping in mind everything that the team's trying to grow from to this point in the season yeah and a, and a, a top five because of the the um the quality of the field um this week a top five i'd be very satisfied with i think i'm looking more at the scores though and as opposed to placing and so you know depending we are going to get some weather um, so my adjustments will be made but it's more on the scoring um, that I'm, I'm going to be looking at yeah coach best of luck this week as you get to thank stay you. close to home finally best of luck at the BNI thank you yeah she is coach Suzanne Strudwick I'm Danielle Whaley and this is the Eagle Sports Network